What's up guys, it is your boy Bernardo from the BTN HD and I am finally reviewing uh, Lenovo's Mirage 3D camera using VR180. Uh, first impressions and the unboxing video I did for you guys a while back. Uh, my first impressions when I first opened it up, it was pretty cool. It's a pain in the butt configuring it with the app. Uh, it's constantly dropping off. At first, it connects. It has its own built-in Wi-Fi uh, connection that you connect your phone to it. Like right now, I am monitoring it using the VR 180. Uh, it, sometimes it drops off. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it works. It's a pain in the butt. So by the time you get it up and running, you're already running maybe up to 75% of battery life. Uh, Lenovo is advertising that the battery is going to last about two hours, right? Two hours and I think they give you two batteries, each of them are 2200 milliamps, which is not that bad. Uh, I am recording this in 4K. Uh, the video resolution can be done on 4K, uh, 1440p, as well as 10, uh, 1080p with 30 frames per second. Uh, it has two fisheye uh, lens, which I think it gives you 180 by 180. For storage size, it only comes with 16 gigs. Uh, I got to constantly make sure it's running with no problem uh, for the processor it is running a 360 snapdragon and today i just want to show you guys what i am uh, or what do i go through when i set up my live streams for the server room so this is all my equipment somewhat i am getting ready to do a live stream with the mirage solo vr headset the standalone vr headset uh so First things first, this is the machine that I use every time that I do a server room or a live stream. This is the Trident. I think this is the Trident 3. This is the Trident 3. Yeah, this is the Trident 3 VR7RC. I think it has about 16 gigs of memory. I think it has a, a, the 980 DTX with 4 gigs. I think I did an unboxing for you guys, so check out that video. I will place the link at the bottom. Got to constantly check on the on the thing, make sure it's running. And again, I'm having that issue. See, this is one of the problems. Hopefully, you guys can see it. It's always constantly saying connect to the camera to preview. And then I'm getting this, and I have to connect. And then it, it does this. And eventually it's saying initialize and sometimes it says it finds it, sometimes it doesn't. It wants me to join the hotspot, which I was already joined. I don't know why that's happening. And now hopefully we are back. All right, so we are back. All right, cool. So it's still running, cool. Uh, so uh, let's get started. First thing I like to do is do a basic keyboard and mouse setup here. I have my bag of equipment, and the first one that we're going to do is I like to use the Logitech. This is one of the well-known webcams that a lot of gamers as well as myself use. So I'm going to unwrap this guy. I'm going to set it up. And this is a one of those standing desks that I use all the time. So we have, I have a two set monitor. Uh, this monitor right here is connected to the Trident 3. And this allows me to monitor my, uh, my stream. And the software that I'm using, I'm using XSplit. Uh, I was using OBS, but the reason I'm, I don't use OBS anymore is because it doesn't allow me to stream to multiple uh, you know, accounts like Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at the same time. So that's the reason why I did XSplit. I spent a little bit more money on that and it's been working well. The only problem is, is that you have to have a very powerful machine for it to work. Now, again, it dropped me off. It's a pain in the butt. I'm, I'm back again, getting it set up. This is one of the problems that you're definitely going to get every single time when you're dealing with this particular camera. So I'm going to tell it not to go asleep on me. Let's go back here. And again, I got to establish the connection, but it's still recording. It's still giving me the indication that it's recording, which is a good thing. I'm happy about that. But if the phone goes asleep, you're going to lose the connection. Uh, one of the things I do not like about the camera, it doesn't have a LCD panel. 
It'd have been great if they'd have gave us like an LCD panel that I'm able to see behind rather than using the phone all the time. Now, if you're not using the VR 180 app, you're not able to use the live stream and uh, you have to attach your, your Gmail account to it and your Gmail account or your YouTube account has to have live stream uh, capabilities for that to work. If not, you're screwed. Okay, so we got that up and running. I'm gonna connect this guy up. Power cable for the Trident, very important. All right, just gonna drop it here. I'm just setting up, this is really normal of what I do. And again, it did not go to sleep, but it dropped off. So this is the type of thing that I'm experiencing with the Mirage 3D camera. Uh, the VR 180 app sucks horribly. Now it came back up and it looks like I'm frozen, but the video count is still going. So. Hopefully everything is working. So I'm going to connect the battery. Battery, I mean the you know power adapter. And hook it up over here. Awesome. So that's good. Now for audio, or you know, this is what I use. Uh, I think this is uh, Bing Hinger. I don't know how to pronounce this, but I'll definitely put a link at the bottom for you guys. Uh, USB powered. Uh, as well as uh, adapter power, so I need to hook that up real quick. Uh, this right here is a left and right channel with a uh, 3.5 millimeter. This hooks up to the primary laptop that I use to present my PowerPoint, as well as uh, log into my ESXi and do all that other stuff. So I'll put this to the side. Um, HDMI, uh, the HDMI will go into my primary laptop and the, the, the other end of the HDMI will go inside one of the capture cards that I have right here. Now today's setup, because I'm going to be doing a live stream on this and I have to test it out, is we're going to be using two capture cards. Now the capture card that I've been using for years is the Magwell USB capture HDMI. Uh, it is a 3.0 USB connection, so if you're using a computer, you got to make sure that your computer is capable of giving you 3.0 uh, speed, okay? So, I am going to hook this guy up because that capture card is going to capture uh, my Canon Vixia camcorder, which is going to directly point to me. The webcam right here that I have is going to face me. And then when I have the headset on and I'm playing around, uh, I want to switch the panel to the Canon so you guys are able to see me, you know, moving around and playing around. And to see what's happening within the VR headset, uh, the Mirage Solo is able to, uh, what is it, Chromecast? So I picked up Google Chromecast from B&H, 35 bucks, pretty cheap. So once I plug this guy inside the capture card, I should be able to see it within the X split and then configure it and then connect this or, you know, cast it to this device. And then you guys are able to see what I see during the live stream. So that's awesome. So, and this is my ethernet. Uh, best practice is to always use a hard wire when you're going live. Uh, the Trident 3 does have a wireless card. I, I am able to go wireless. But uh, I don't like doing that. No, no. And again, look at this. I'm going to show you guys. Look at that. No preview available. This is ugh, horrible. Uh, I think the retail price for the Mirage 3D camera is going to start you around 300 bucks. Uh, I think the only headache that I'm getting right now is the VR180 uh, app. Using it with the camera is extremely iffy. I, I'm... I'm getting a lot of drops off this is the only problem that i'm getting i'm really hating that a lot i do not like the camera uh one of the things i don't like about the camera it doesn't have an lcd panel in the back that i'm able to see what's going on i'm very i have to depend on the app to manage it uh the only thing that you could do directly on the the camera is press the shutter to start it power button to start it up and you're able to only switch between photo and video. So you're not able to tell the device that you want 4K or you want 1440 or you want 1080. You have to do it on the app and that sucks. Uh, I would like to see a second version on this particular device because $300, like, come on, you're just giving me like a, 
plastic little small pocket size camera that you can't really do too much on it. You have to have a a phone to do a lot of the you know the special abilities, but the app is not working efficiently. That sucks. So uh, to end it, I am gonna say that uh, in theory it's a great technology, but I think they still need to work more with the virtual the VR one eighty app as well as the device. Uh, you need a lot of improvements. I think uh, you know makeup wise, you need a lot. It looks pretty, looks nice. But it's ugh, it sucks that half the time it doesn't work. So uh, I'm going to stop there. Uh, I need to continue setting this stuff up. But this is normally what I do for the server room stuff. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. Leave comments right below. I am going to stop this right now. And I need to continue setting this up so I can get this guy ready for you guys. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.